Well, tonight, the truly bizarre, the most renovated home in Perth, a Fremantle man's 19-year obsession, mostly paid for by cartons of beer. I'm an obsessive builder and a local city council knight. Good morning, this, can I help you, son? I wouldn't be surprised that it is the quirkiest house in the state. It would have to be the most over-renovated house in Perth, for sure. Some call it art, or maybe it's pain in the art. One thing's for sure, you can't miss a hundred Hubble Street, and that's even before you get inside undoubtedly the oddest house in the street it's the oddest house in in that part of the town it's probably the oddest house in Perth it's possibly the oddest house in the state and odd it is recycled renovated restored and some would say really weird so what's the wall all about I mean you've got absolutely everything you can imagine here haven't you I refer to this as the, the wall of life and um, many of the things represent popular culture a lot of junk a lot of toys bits of jewellery like this. Owner Andrew Hayam de Vries confesses it's an odd house for an odd bloke. I think I'm a combination between a hoarder and a mad collector. You may not believe it, but it's taken Andrew 19 years to achieve this building bliss. Come in and have a look. Andrew's turned his collecting caper into dollars, a boutique hotel that's become a cultural icon heritage listed by his local council. How come? Well, just take a shower on the phone. And cook up a storm at the helm of an old boat wheelhouse that's now the kitchen. What's this? This is a 1955 wooden railway carriage. Okay. How on earth did you get it in here? <laughs> With great difficulty, but we sorted it out really quickly. It was lifted in by um, a huge crane via my neighbour's property. I bet she was a bit nervous. She was, <laughs> she was actually in the crane with the crane driver. And what's inside? Inside is the bedroom. Originally this was an old baggage carriage. It was an old freight carriage at the end of the train. And now it's converted into uh, part of the accommodation here. I think it's really important to, for people to see the front and come into the property because essentially it motivates, it stimulates and encourages people to approach building and lifestyle slightly different to what they would normally see. Andrew's involved the whole neighbourhood in his project. Locals feel what Andrew calls Lola the bin. Ultimately the most strangest things, wash machine, car parts, motorcycle helmets, push bikes, so what's trash and what's treasure? A discerning eye. Some trinkets have come cheap, others have cost Andrew a fortune, but he says there is an alternative to cold hard cash. Carton of beer, absolutely. So liquid gold does the trick, does it? <laughs> totally seals the deal. But his happy home has come at a price. The house has given me a lot of joy, a lot of fun, to the detriment of women in my life, a lot of artist friends. And let's face it, I've created a lot of problems with the council. He's a nightmare because he takes so much of your time. When, when, I mean, of probably all the houses I've had to deal with in the town over six years, his has probably taken more time. Nightmare, he's pretty intense. Local councillor John Kirkness says Andrew has bent the rules. The house is dead. Look, it's definitely a, a talking point in the town, and sure, it's created some controversy. As I say, I've, I've got friends who, who've said they can't stand the house. They think they think it's intrusive to a sort of a, a fairly laid-back sort of environment. I guess that's that's a subjective call, and you know where my subjective role as a councillor is involved. Well, I've made a call that I think it's I think it's contributing. To the house For now, Andrew's won the battle with the council at least but says it may be time to put an end to his crazy collecting. Slowly winding up this year. But then again, I've said this to many of my friends and they've laughed at me, thinking it'll never end, Andrew. I'm gonna prove him wrong. <laughs> Andrew is a quirky guy and, you know, the house is quirky. I mean, really, the house and Andrew, they're one and the same. Claudia Bertarello with that report.